Hey, I'm going to watch the game on my boy Duke House, so stay tuned. But even though that I'm going to watch the game, I'm going to cook dinner for me and my girl so she can have something to eat. So chill out. As y'all can see, I got my steaks a bit marinating. I got my baked potato. It's like I'm getting it ready for the game. My old lady, she at work. She be home in a minute. She don't watch football, nor does she like it. But she gonna eat good with me today. Stay tuned. Yeah, I got my butter here going. I'm gonna shear these. Then I like to put them in Luma for and put them in the oven for a minute. As you can see, this is how I get down. Okay, you can see they did it in about five minutes. I got it all. Put a little butter, olive oil in there. You can see they brown it real good. But then I like to put them in some Luma for put my onions on them and let it bake the rest of the way. Stay tuned. Y'all can see I like to put it right back in the pan and I'm putting a little water in the bottom of that. So stay tuned. This your boy cooking with the rock. Hey, I got my broccoli here. I'm going to cut that up and get that ready. I'm going to have baked potato, broccoli. I got some salad, you know, them small salads you buy at Kroger. I got them, but I don't know. But I'm going to go and cook this because I had this broccoli for a while and never let veggies go to waste. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how I do my broccoli. Cut it off by here. Then I get the getting all them out. And I usually like to stir fry my broccoli. Cook it fast. Cause I don't like no mushy broccoli. Okay. See I gotta wash that. I haven't rinsed it off yet, but I am. Then, like I like to do this when they thick like this, because by me uh, cooking them in high heat, I need to be as thin as possible. You know, so I cut them, cut them down like that. Okay, and I know you young people, old school, always have some bleach water. Always make you some water. Because, uh, as you can see, I don't got no mess. Okay? This is how I'm doing that. So, give me a minute. I'm finna rinse them off. Okay, now that I got them rinsed off of everything, I like to put a little olive oil on it. Okay? And I love this here, Mrs. Dash. Oh, man. Y'all better get up on these young folks. Put your little dish dab in there. Oh! Mix it up a little bit, get it going. Get it going, okay. Get it going. You know that Mr. Dad's get everything some flavor, okay? Hey, y'all gotta get y'all one of these cast iron walks. I got two walks. I got a cast iron one, and I got the regular walk, and my girl just bought me a small, small walk. You know, my girl will buy me anything when it comes to cooking. I do most of the cooking. She can cook real good too. But by me being retired and she works, I take care of her and I like cooking. I like cooking period, but she don't gotta do anything when she get home. But just come on home to me safely. So you know, you gonna wanna warm that up. You know? And you are gonna need a little soy sauce. You gonna need a little soy sauce. A little oyster sauce and a little sugar. Okay, we're gonna go and get that heated up. Throw your little cup piece of butter in there. You know, butter make everything right. Sorry about the noise, but 
You got to have your tools. You got to have your tools. Okay? And get that on up in there. Okay? We're going to get that on up in there. Let that sit for a minute. And as you're doing that, always clean up. Always have you some water. This water. But you clean up. I don't like messes. It's just me and my girl here. We do not like messes. Okay. And last but least, you gotta have you some chicken broth. Okay. Man, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. You wanna go add your little Worcester sauce in there. Ain't gonna hurt nothing to get on down. You remember that song? Ain't gonna hurt nothing to get on down. Put your little soy sauce in there. Not that much because you don't want to rock it all sauce. When you get older, you don't like all that sauce. Put your little sugar in there. It don't hurt nothing to get on down. And then bam, here goes the trick. About that much right there, y'all. Y'all see me? Let that steam go and get it up in there. And get that ready. Get that on steam on in there. And this last thing. Have it like that, turn that heat up, baby. Meanwhile, I'm over here washing the last little dishes. Yes, sir, that's what I do. I'm gonna eat me since the Lions game come on at 6.30. I'm gonna go eat me a little something now. Eat me a little something now before I go to the game because you know I'm going to get my drink on. So, that's how I do it. When you're cooking with the rock, when you're cooking with the rock, I'm going to always make it look easy but good. That's my motto, easy but good. Because I'm always trying to show young people to stop cooking for yourself. All the little restaurant food and all that junk, man, that shit ain't nothing, man. And then your old lady, you know, they like it when you cook for them. Okay, you see that? Go and cut that fire and let's sit there for a minute, baby. This Chinese style broccoli right here. And like I said, I don't like my stuff all mushy, so. And this one more thing, too. When you're doing it like this, you want to get it out the juice. And you want it to cool down. Because if you leave it in the hot juice and stuff, it's going to overcook it. And it's going to get too mushy. This is just about done right now. Stay tuned. Hey, as you can see, this is the final result of steaks. Uh, perfectly sheared. And it's not, I don't like red in man, but you believe me.